I suppose the problem a lot of people have is that you delayed this motion condemning ISIS because you were concerned about the wording, and yet you've moved very swiftly to back other motions, similar motions, condemning Israel, and people are worried there that there's a sort of double standard. Absolutely not. Um, when it comes to the case of Israel, we are uh, we condemn the human rights violations, the violations of international law, uh, and and the continued oppression of the Palestinian people. And we're very clear uh, and specific in doing so. Uh, it is not a particular targeting of of any group. Now you've said that you have a problem with Zionist politics, given that. Zionism, when it's boiled down, is essentially about the right of the State of Israel to exist. Does that mean that you have a problem with the right of the State of Israel to exist? I have a problem with the continued occupation of the Palestinian people uh, for their, them being stripped of their rights. Do you have a problem with, with Israel per se? I have a problem with Israel violating international law and uh, its continued treatment of the Palestinian people, certainly. But Israel, where it exists now, is that problematic to you? Israel, as it behaves, uh, uh, is problematic to me. You would feel it would be OK for you to say about yourself that you were anti-Zionist? Yes, I would. So let's talk about another allegation. Um, you claimed that, to use your uh, phrase, Zionist-led media um, presented the Palestinian resistance as an act of terrorism. Do you defend Palestinian violence? Um, it's not for me to condemn Palestinian violence. What I do is uh, support international law, and under international law, uh, uh, people under uh, military rule have a right to, um, to, to self-defence. And I think that there needs to be... Uh, that we need to ensure that there is always engagement with such discussions.